Russell. Good morning. If you're feeling a little down, if you're feeling a little lonely, if you're feeling a little hungry and maybe a bit thirsty, thirsty. you will come to the right place because this is the Curly Cooks of Croydon, but with an extra special day. And boy, am I thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> This Morning is... team, maybe you'll get a little closer because a three shot is really hard. Yeah. Uh, this is... in my contract, they don't come close to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is our dear friend and colleague, Lee, Pe Lee Peart. Many of you know him, but we've got to accept there may be some people that have just arrived who don't know him. No. Well, I can hardly Imagine. believe it. <laughs> if so, my condolences. <laughs> um, but thanks for having me back. Last time I was on, it was... <laughs> was that for your revision? It was. I thought I'd never work again. We <laughs> <laughs> offended every country in Europe. Yes, we did, but luckily that's over now. <laughs> God, actually, you did make a special point to say to your agent, didn't you, that you probably wouldn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm but, not getting cancelled. <laughs> but, but we. We managed to tempt him. We back. have, we have. What got him here first was a bacon baguette because he was very hungry. <laughs> and hungover. No, he's not hungover. He never hungover. I'm not, not actually hungover. He, Lee is a comedian, he's an actor, and he's a damn fine chap. Oh, thank you. Um, Stuart he, G remembers seeing Lee in the VIP. VIP tent at Manchester Pride. Oh, uh, most probably. <laughs> <laughs> VIP, well, no, he... I'm always there. <laughs> Slug and lettuce, Manchester Pride. I'm there. Slug and lettuce. Um, <laughs> so usually on the Curly Cooks, my sister Dina here cooks all the vegan food. I cook non-vegan food. My husband Mark, the director and cameraman, um, occasionally joins us for a little cooking. Don't you, Danny? Well, that, you could call it that. But today's all going to be a bit different. Dina's what about Lee? No, that's what I'm saying. Dina three, is going to do a vegan... Um, grazing board. board. Grazing board. Fancy word for a few nibbles. They're very in at the minute, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah. You put a, a new... My friend, well, I say friend, I dated him. Um, <laughs> and he, his friend had a website where you can... It yeah. makes you design your own smorgasbord. Yeah. And oh. it makes, so that it tells you where to put it. You need I would tell you the name of the website, but I can't remember. <laughs> God, that is well, I'm getting your own smorgasbord. I know, I know. Who's got the time? <laughs> a smorgasbord of delights. So today I'm not going to be cooking because I'm going to be Lee's shoe chef. Shoe bitch. chef. Shoe 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 chef. Bitch. No, actually, you're going to be my bar back, oh, technically. Yes. What's a bar bag? Yes. I'll nice. tell you after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's so, like a bar back is like a sous chef, but it's like you hand over your... Oh, okay. Like, so I'm going to be a bar you back. You found out about bar back. I did, Yes, and I you'll did. find out more about that later when, they, when Mark and Lee make this special announcement. But first of all, we got some really exciting news. Which is these cocktails that Lee actually introduced us to, didn't you, Lee? I did indeed. So That's these good. are called Moth, and they are delicious cocktails in a can. Now, a lot of people will say to me, including Dina, yeah. what, uh, why is it Moth? Yeah, why is it Moth? <laughs> why is it moth? <laughs> Mix of total happiness. Okay. Isn't that funny? It's an acronym. It's an acronym. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to show off that he knew the word acronym. And we and Moth have, have given us uh, two Some boxes item. as a giveaway. One we're going to give away from this show, but with our surprise later, you'll find out where the second giveaway is. So one of your subs can win, win that, this. all that amount, all that. Tequila. You have to be 18, of course, but this is a show. So there's going to be two opportunities. For two two opportunities to, to win one of those. To, oh, and to win the whole box. Margarita, mojito, paloma, espresso martini, aperitivo spritz, which is basically similar to an Aperol spritz. And, um, oh, oh no, 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 no. is I'm there a Cosmo? Yeah. Oh, you, there's a Cosmo at the back. Yeah. Oh, that's my favourite. Nice. That's great. They're, so, they're like, you know, they, 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 this is a lot. This is worth nice. a lot. It is. It is. It's it's jolly good price. Price. We'll be sending them direct once we yeah. know the winner. Perfect. But first, Thanks, Lee is going to make a non-in-the-can cocktail because amongst our group of friends, he's known as the Cocktail King. Well, I like to manage expectations. <laughs> I'm a cocktail enthusiast. Yeah, okay, thank So, you know, I've recently moved house. Yes. When I was viewing the house, I walked in and um, 
I was chatting to the, the, the guys and I said, um, oh, and I make great cocktails. I was yeah. like, that's one of the, you know, trying to sell it to them. Get them they were like, oh, right. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then they went, oh, we both work in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, well, oh, I went, no. well, you know, I just enjoyed, it's a hobby. You know, I'm not. <laughs> so um, I am an enthusiast, but I, I think, you know, that's good. Because if I was like some expert, I would, uh, it could be intimidating. Yeah, it could be. Yes, so you're a relatable cocktail maker. So. You said to me get loads of limes, so is that enough? Yeah, we do, yeah, 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 that's great. Um, so, basically, what we're doing today is, I'm a bit nervous actually, because I've never made these things So you should be. Mm -hmm. That's um, a strange choice. Well, I just got a text from <laughs> Dina just saying, Hyperenia. <laughs> No cocktail, it's a cocktail. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so now so the message me and said, oh, Lee's going to be on the show on Saturday. I went, right, wicked. So we're She's going to do a Caipirinha, which I'll let you know what that is. We'll do that first. And then later we're going to do a mojito. Everyone knows a mojito. Um, maybe later today, Dina will do connecting. <laughs> <laughs> In text. And, and a mojito lends itself really well to um, no alcohol because it's mint and it's sweet and actually with a bit of cucumber in as well. So oh, we can make one of those for Mark. Sure. Mark, 20 years sober this year. Not yet. Woo! Don't get me there. No, but this is your 20th yeah. year. Christopher Cundall, please don't slice your thumb off like last, last time. time. Yes. Oh, did, did. Oh, yes, I did. Well remembered. Well remembered, Christopher. So Thumbs we're gonna, Chris, well, half the so there will be a non-alcoholic because you know these are sober days. A lot of people don't drink as well, and we like to always ha ha. Indeed, that. indeed, indeed. So let's start with the caipirinha, which I'm. It oh, is, you said it properly then, yeah. Why? What did I say? Before we miffed the ear off the end. Oh, no. it's good. You got it. Good. <laughs> it's what like hanging out. It? What is it? Where I say it again? Caipirinha. It's like hanging out with Susie Dent. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so um, oh, I, no, I am excited. This is a very refreshing cocktail, and it's actually, I think, quite simple to make. So, do you know what caipirinha means, Susie? <laughs> no, Susie doesn't. It means country little girl. Ooh. Country little girl. <laughs> oh God! You immediately think of Dean. No, that is wrong. That's put me off it now. Yeah, country oh. little girl. And so it's it's a Brazilian drink, okay? It's a Brazilian drink. It's basically um, we're using it. Uh, we're using the spirit cacacha. Also yes, quite well, difficult yeah, to say. I don't know how to say that. I have to say. If we, anyone knows how to say cacacha, cacacha, cacacha. I think it's cacacha. Cacacha. Yeah. Cacacha. I think you might be cachaca. right. Cacacha. Yeah. Cacacha. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, don't, don't you dare. Yeah. Uh, so cachaca. basically, for anyone who doesn't know what cacacha is. <laughs> Shall I get it? Yes, get it. Um, <laughs> it is essentially, me. it's a spirit, it's essentially rum, um, but rather than using uh, molasses, you use fermented uh, sugar cane. Oh. That's, that's the difference. I've learned something today. Teacher likes it when she learns something. Teacher likes it when she learns something. <laughs> so. Sinister <laughs> aspectors question. She's honestly terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. Honestly. Um, so uh, this is the Shasha that yes. I've uh, used. And actually, if you saw the last time that I was on here, we did a pina colada, didn't we? Uh -huh. um, and and I use, use this because this is a bit of a, it gives it a touch. But I'm going to leave this in the freezer. Oh, we want okay. it as cold as possible. Oh, okay. So pop your kashasha okay. in the freezer. Mark, if you find me the live chat, can I read out some comments? So uh, I can read it from mine. My... I can't do that easily. Oh. <laughs> Why? Uh... Why? Here you go. So, yeah, what uh, we're going to do... We're going to make, it's actually quite easy, I think, to make. Yeah. All right. So we're going to use, we're going to use these, but you use kind of a highball glasses, but we've thought these are kind of like, uh -huh. you know, um, but like I said, it's Brazilian. And um, apparently it dates back to, um, they used to drink this to ward off scurvy. It's always scurvy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's Sophia Lopez says, you're saying it right, guys. Kishasha. Oh, wonderful. Kishasha. Thank you, Sophia. And Sarah Fox says, Lee, I think you're the first person who's got away with telling Dina what to do. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Another 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Set a timer for 45 minutes. Um, so, uh, we're going to do this. So, I need you to um, bar back. 
Papa. So I need you to cut r uh, limes in half. So it says cut limes in half so from you're pole basically, to pole. You're basically not going to do anything. No, I am, but I just, <laughs> I, I am going to do that. Pole to pole. Pole to pole. What does that mean? That way to that way. Like Is that North Pole, pole to South right, Pole? Look, North Pole to South Pole. Right, okay. And then, yeah, we're going to remove the core from each half by cutting. Basically, we want lime wedges. <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> And then you cut them again, I'm sure. You'll need one half of the lime per drink. No, not okay, that. so you need one half mm, of the lime per drink, juicing. and this should be chopped into wedges. Equatorial? What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it means like that, Nigel. What do you mean? Oh, Christ, what's that knife, lads? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. So. Pole to pole. Yeah. You'll need one half of the lime per drink. This should be chopped into wedges, okay? Like okay. so. And each web. Chop, uh, wedge chopped in half. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're going to drop the resulting six or eight lime chunks into oh. the base <laughs> of... I didn't mind that. Anymore. It's like that. Oh, okay. Six or eight um, lime chunks into the base yeah. tin of a shaker. Because what we're going to do is we're going to muddle the lime. So six or eight. What's the difference between muddling and, and just stirring? Well, muddle is where you crush it and you crush ah. the juices into each other. Ooh. So this is a muddle. That is a lovely lime. Can you smell it? Mm. I can smell it. Mm. Gorgeous. Mm. Um, so actually, a little tip with your limes. I think I showed you this last, last time. If you're making a batch of lime juice, zest a bit of the lime and infuse it overnight because all the flavour is in the um, zest. Mm. <laughs> They're pretending they didn't know that. <laughs> Did you see that? You were stuck. So I've never known that. Oh. So we're gonna up six or eight. We're gonna go for seven. Meet in the middle. Into your shaker. All right. Then we, me and Dina, Dina and I rather, <laughs> um, kind of dis disagree. Well, we don't. But I was gonna use white sugar. You specifically want brown, brown sugar, sugar, don't you? It doesn't actually really matter. It does, because they've got really different tastes. <laughs> brown sugar tastes completely different to what Yes, it, brown sugar has a more kind of caramelly, rich Toffee, flavour. Which goes with the fermented sugar in the kshasha. <laughs> I think. That's kshasha. <laughs> so, we are going to add three bar spoons of powdered sugar. So let's crush this brown sugar. Where are you going to crush Do you need it? a pestle and mortar? Yes. Do we have one? Yes, but it had cumin in it last. Oh, well. Uh, what, what are you doing on the you weekend? Crush you, it? Crush <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you crush it with a muddler? <laughs> Let's just... Do you know what? We can just... Yeah. No. <laughs> just use the pet. No, you can't. Is use that this. a pestle and mortar? Things seem to have frozen. But it's a mention of pestle and mortar. You can use... <laughs> the pestle and mortar has just brought things to a grinding halt. So, <laughs> do you get it? Do you get what I did there? Grinding halt. Oh, oh good one. Uh, Betty, <laughs> Betty watching. So, we, you, you can, by the way, you can just use, if you want to be simple, which <laughs> I, I, I would totally advocate, you can just use 15 ml of sugar syrup. So I'm going to use sugar syrup in one of them, 15 yeah, mil, okay. and then we'll do a brown sugar one because yeah. there is something about properly doing it. And sometimes I do feel like with these drinks, if you get a bit of the residue of the crunch of yeah. the sugar, I quite like it's that. It's nice. Yeah, it is nice. So let's do that. So let's, why don't we just crush it on here? Okay. Is that I've a thing? I've just done you the squish, the, the spice mill. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know what one of those is, but let's put this. Use a grinder, says Donna. I think it was. Donna Little says use a grinder. Use a grinder. Come, come, come. Oh, we're going over there. Use Let's grinder. Leave. Don't start. Don't keep them off. So. Stick it on. Lee. One. Wait, hold on. This is uh, quite pathetic compared to what you come across. <laughs> this is a piece of kit. <laughs> yes, you'll find out more about yeah. that when we make our big reveal. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. I wonder what you meant there. <laughs> <laughs> Dina won't be I happy with the syrup, says Tori. I could see you so Tori's so right. Oh, I met Tori. No. Yeah. Is it the same one? Yes. Yeah. So, There's only one Tori. But you can do this with pestle and mortar. You can even just muddle it at the bottom of the shaker, which you could do. So. There we go. Wow. wow. Oh. oh my. Ooh. That's, That's it. it. Wow. That's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> we must all meet over here again. It's, it's a grinder. Oh, it's just a grinder. It's just a grinder. 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 He likes grinder. Very <laughs> 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 
So we're going to pour that in. That might be a bit more sugar, but if you like it more sweet, just do it like that. She doesn't like it too sweet. All right, well, tough. <laughs> we'll pour it she in. So like... what's then going to happen is then you've got this, right? Yes. You've got these in here, and then you're going to muddle. So this is where you want a bit of strength down there, and you basically muddle it. Can you see? Muddle. Oh, look at that already. Can you see that in well, that's there? That's the best bit. Mm. That is the best bit. Because the lime juice mm. is just going to infuse Ooh. into this sugar, okay? And you, you want to do it as much as possible to make it nice and smooth and creamy. Now, while I'm doing this... Mm. I should start this. Well, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need ice, okay? Why so you I want go some... lower? Because you're up high. There you go. Get ice. Bow back. Get ice. Well, yeah, but what ice do you want? I've got you different kinds of Cubed ice. Cubed ice, if possible. And then we're going to... Um, A what? Cubed. Cubed, just ice cubes. Cubed. I've got, got shaped. Shaped? What's shaped? Just ice. It doesn't have to be too big. Yes, I see with you. Oh my god, I can't believe it. All you ever say is you want big ice. You're a Not difficult... for everything. No, the... this has got to be crushed anyway. I have. So, we're gonna add, because we're, we're, we're adding. Oh, okay. We are uh, gonna add some chilled water. Oh, water it down. Well, yes, because you have to, because otherwise it, it, it doesn't um, balance properly. So the reason we're using chilled water um, is because the I ice I thought you'd be is... so happy with mine. Yes, that's great, but we will probably crack them down to be a little bit less. <laughs> How are you going to do that? I thought he liked the large surface area to the ice He's... cube. Thank you, so, Mark. Yes, do you here. have some chilled water? I'll pop a, a couple of ice cubes in a glass and pour me some water if possible. Okay. You notice there's a tightness to his tone coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he needs support. <laughs> I think it's because I, yeah, I love a moth. Well, should we crack one open? Well, aren't we giving them away? Well, they're, they're sending another they one. They won't mind. Purely they won't mind if one comes half. <laughs> Which would you like? What do you want? The strongest margarita. Um, espresso martini. Uh, do you know what? I quite like the um, aperitivo. Have you seen aperitivo? This one. The orange one. Okay. Are you going to have one? Um, and then, so, I'm going to try your your thing. Yeah, so I've done that, okay? So muddled that. So literally really simple. You've got limes and you've got... Um, in fact, do you want to do another one in this one? Because I've got the limes here. Okay. So um, grind ice. three... Get glass for ice. Oh, three, have, uh, grind some three... Um, actually, no, we'll, what we'll do is we'll use 15 ml of the sugar syrup so we'll see the difference in taste. Ah, oh, okay. So... I'll muddle. So how long are you supposed to muddle for? I think that's pretty much done. Oh, that, that yeah, does yeah, smell yeah. so fresh. And we're going to leave that in there, okay? Mm. So... I've if, messaged her. If you want to do it simple, um, which I totally oh, advocate, because sometimes when you just want to quickly make a drink, you don't want to be fanning around with a grinder. You want to be fanning around on grinder. <laughs> 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 what, is that not appropriate? <laughs> <laughs> Other dating apps are available. <laughs> God, if I've shocked Dina, we're all doomed. <laughs> so... Do you know what? At this point, yeah, this would be a really good point if you're sober. Would this be the point that you would just add your soda water? Yeah, definitely. Well, you that's could... delicious. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, totally. And maybe some mint. Or we're going to do that with the mojito. No, the, the mojito. We'll yeah, I wouldn't mojito. know. I wouldn't know about a caipirinha. Cape, Okay. You've, you've ruined that for me now. I don't know if I'm <laughs> saying it right. So this is a, sim a 15 ml of sugar syrup. Okay, so you've got half a lime in each of these. Half a lime for, for one of them. So uh, Nadia, if you would do me the honour of muddling. Oh, try a little, try that. that. You might want to... Um, no, okay, don't rinse that. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to, but you might not. It's just sugar. Yeah, no, I know. It's just because it's brown sugar, but it's oh. fine. It won't um, do too bad. Anyway, so... We are now going to, the lime juice is fully extracted and the sugar is dissolved. All right, and where is, oh, this is the chilled water. So the reason we're using chilled water is to just balance it out and the, the cubes have come straight from the fridge. What you can do if not, 
is leave your ice cubes out for a bit and you get what you call wet cubes. That's <laughs> <laughs> so funny, honestly. <laughs> Never work with children. <laughs> wet cubes. So wet ice. As Melted. opposed to ice cubes. Assuming, no, it's called wet. Yeah, because frozen stuff is dry. Yeah, so okay. it's wet. I thought it melted up. <laughs> you can call Zena, it what you want. But you are from Croydon. <laughs> so we are going to use uh, 25, 22.5 mil. So I'll just do 20. It's fine. A little bit more. <laughs> and just pop that into there. Okay? So that goes in there. So all you've got in there is half a lime. You've got your sugar. And you've got a bit of your chilled oh, that's so water. Okay. <laughs> Once that is fully extracted, which it is, we are gonna pour it into a serving glass. Okay, that's okay. all we're gonna do. So that's really easy. So we'll just pour that into a oh, serving yeah. glass. Now, oh. that does not look <laughs> particularly appetizing. <laughs> Sounded strange. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded very, very strange. But. Bear with us, okay? Oh, what's going to happen to make it better? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> now! Do you want a sieve? A sieve? <laughs> Why would I want a sieve? No, you leave all that in there. Oh, okay. Very important. Don't rinse this shaker yet. Oh, okay. Okay, Ooh. just leave that. This is okay? like a science lesson, <laughs> isn't it? Try your spritz. You need a Bunsen burner. <laughs> Try your spritz. The <laughs> straws block. <laughs> oh, don't give him a block. <laughs> <laughs> I had that straw the other day, it's still blocked. What is it? <laughs> Dina, don't guys, just give guys, me that one. I'm Dina, fine with my don't mouth. Just give people straws. Look, why not? It's a clear one. God, what was Dina. that? Why not? <laughs> yeah, you can see that that one's clear. Right, so it says it's sparkly bright bold. It giggles at golden hour. Sounds like Lee. Oh, and yes. And stories at sunrise. All eyes. You read that last sentence, it's beautiful. Red mat mat Add ear. ice and listen to the no, fifth. No, this bit. Oh, but, well, that's not the last line, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Paragraph, I oh, said. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> didn't. Anyone watching this back, she did not see if she said paragraph, because I know I haven't heard the word paragraph in at least two weeks. <laughs> All eyes twinkle over the table. Add ice and I listen to the fizz. I she hadn't said paragraph. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Oh, God, I'm terrified. Right. So. You're right, Ned. You have muddling. It's, it's just that. heavenly. Okay, so, so, so you could have that sober now, couldn't you? you yeah, could add, you I could don't add want it. No, but I no, don't but, want it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there are lots of people that watch that do like non-alcoholic ones as but well. I don't want that. <laughs> no, but it is delicious. It will look nice and when other good. things are added. <laughs> and it's so, good for scurvy. So, or even there, if you <laughs> just really simple, really simple. Yes. Yeah, it is good for scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> Get you kashasha. <laughs> Now, we've kept this nicely in the freezer, so it's nice and cold. <laughs> and what we're going to do now is we want, uh, this is per one, 60 ml of kashasha. Okay, so like I said, if you like rum, it's basically rum but different. It's, used. it's just really shall I get different. Some, shall I get some ice so that we make it wet ice? No, we don't need to make it wet ice, do we? Because we have already poured the water in. It will be too diluted at that point. 60 <laughs> ml there. And now this jigger is the star of the show. Yes. That might be coming later. <laughs> don't want to give away an announcement. <laughs> Not too early. Not too early. Uh, but you might see this. A little bit more. <laughs> so we just pour that. Oh no! Ah! Oh. Ice. We pour it in here. Ah. That's why I said don't rinse. Uh, <laughs> to get the residue. You're going to get the residue of that. I've only poured a little bit in there, so that's fine. And you're just going to swirl so you get oh. it all. Oh. So you get the residue oh. of everything. So do it to cha 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 cha. You don't need to shake, it's just swirl it. You know, there's a different rhythm, girls. That's no, not. Too fast to that swirl. And then it, you pour that in. Now, uh, we have used the wrong glass. 
because I think this is good. This is the drink there, but this is oh, gonna God. this is What's gonna look in? yeah. Hang on, let me get you another glass. Supposed to have loads of crushed ice now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna get a different glass because I, do you know what? It's too fat. Um, too fat. <laughs> it'll be it'll be the no no no. We'll use this. We'll use this. No, it can't be that. Oh God! All right. We'll use this. Yeah, that's Damn. fine. I don't mind that one. Is it? Is it? It's a bit. That's good. No. Oh, no, I don't fit that colour. No, it's good. <laughs> Pink and green are don't very good. Don't worry, don't worry. Now, we, we just need um, ice. We need ice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew I Come on, Barbara. I knew I should have just done a margarita. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Is that nice? That's lovely. So easy. So actually, we're going to cr crush that a little bit. How are you gonna oh, God. <gasps> no, oh. no, oh. no, oh. that won't work. Oh. No! You need to put How a cloth How do you do it? I'm sure you need to put a cloth on. Of course you do! Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Really? No time, the ice is melting. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Well, there weren't any hard masks, yeah. wasn't there? Actually, have you got a bag? Have you got a clear it? bag? Ice! A clear zip up bag. Zip up bag? Also, I need more than just two and you need cubes. Come back. What are you doing? Stop. Just stood here. <laughs> oh, God. God. Uh, there we go. Great, great, great. More ice, please. Mallet, mallet. <laughs> mallet Dina. Mallet. <laughs> Wait, I've got one. I don't know you're in the garden. Dina, get the, get the thing that we use the cumin for. You don't need a mallet, you just whack no, it on the side. No, we need just get the pestle and mortar, the mortar. The pestle. It? Uh, it's it's over there the in the corner. Machine. show with no implements of any kind, I do not know. I mean, we need a mallet. Would you we like to do this? Would you use a mallet? Oh, yes. I've got a mallet. Oh, it's gonna be... oh. Yeah, oh. 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 Dina! I think we've used too much sugar. That looks really dark. Um, maybe a slightly longer glass. Betty and Teddy are in the room. Oh, oh hi Betty and Teddy. <laughs> 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 that's my mum and dad. You put that's his mum and dad for yeah. <laughs> And Betty, then you pour in. And watch this from the beginning. You pour in the crushed ice. Oh, okay. This make all the difference. Come over, Betty and Teddy. Oh. Be a little bit more crushed, but the pour that in. Oh, yeah, okay. I think I think you're wrong. What do you mean? About what? I think it would look nice in the big jar. Well, it looks quite pretty, actually. With the ice on the top... Just give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Dina, and then, don't use that straw, Dean. It's ugly. I'm just going to well, give it a bit of a stir. I'm going to give it a bit of a stir. And actually, this wooden spoon is the garnish. So we're going to use that. Right. I personally think we might have done too much sugar. sugar. I shall let you know. I think there was too much of it. When I saw it, I thought... So, all you see there, you've still got the limes in there, and then you serve it like that. Now, I don't think you're even meant to use a straw, but try that. We're just going <laughs> to... Sorry, it takes a while. <laughs> oh, like, oh, we'll chat. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> no, but she doesn't hate it. She's no, she's wondering. making everything touch every part of her tongue. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, it? Yeah, just the ice needs to be a bit more crushy. Yes, I, I agree. So, all, well, you were the one that did the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you not order crushed rice? Rice. Right. Right. <laughs> he gave me a terrible shopping list. Try that. Can you taste wow. the rum? Now. That it's is... It's not rum, it's kashasha. <laughs> you know, that's, that's really, really delicious. Now, well, we've got another one on the way. It has lots of different notes to it. You've got the lime, got the sugar, you've got the sugar, you've got the sweetness, and you've got the caramelisation. She was right about the brown sugar. Yeah, but what? Hold on, we've still got to do the white the one. Syrup. Let me try. Do you try. want to try a bit? Yeah, I'd use a straw, but I won't get anything out of it. Oh. That's sensational. It is delicious. So don't be fooled. When we poured that in, and it looked like sewage water, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste like it. It's Delicious. And, it and actually, look it's like not it. too sweet. It's nice, isn't it? It's because so. the lime is very. So, guys, this is really, really fresh. When would you drink really this? Fresh. And what would you, eat? what would oh. you be eating before that? Probably. Oh, some when salty would I drink nuts. It? 
Salty nuts. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> 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 right, listen. I'm saying nothing. We're now gonna do exactly the same, but we're gonna do it with the white sugar, okay? So, we've got the, um, we're gonna use the chilled ice there. See, you were worried about the dilution. If that didn't have the water in that, it's because the, or the ice cubes, are, you have to use a bit of water to dilute it because otherwise it would be too strong. Because what you're remembering there is you, it's just pure spirit and then lime juice. It's really, Rummy, it kind of brings out. Is, is it rum? It is. It's, it's kind of like rum. What is it? It's Brazilian. It's the. It's the. Um, you're in a cachaca. And you know what? It's really, really inexpensive, even when it's is imported. It? Did you, yeah. Did you get it from Amazon? Because I can't find it anywhere. I got this from my local liquor store. Ah. In which Hill. Well, more will be revealed about oh. that. Oh, yes, you'll we'll see it. Ah. Oh, I need to come oh. up to your liquor store. Just... Right. Take, take it back. Right now, listen. <laughs> Listen, yeah. I don't think people will have got what that was. Show the bottom. So, Kishasha. this is just Kashasha, okay? And it's spelled C-A-C-H-A, and then there's one of those C's. What's Spot? that? What's Spot that? S-A. No, it's a sh. There's no S That makes sh. Sh. Yeah. Is that not an S? No, it's one of those C's with a little thing behind, a like shuh. a little tail. Sorry. What are they called? Uh, what, someone uh, on um, the comments will know. What's that, what's that thing called where you have it under a... See, you know, like, um... Yeah, in Spanish, like you a have book. a... Yeah. It's yeah. A little, not an epsilon. It's a little... I don't know what it's called. Cedilla. Cedilla. Cedilla? It's so much better. Betty is saying Cedilla. Cedilla. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty. It makes a sh... Sound. Betty, I think you would love... Let's get another one of these glasses. I like the, um... <laughs> oh, okay. 51, I mean, it's called 51. Which is my so favorite. that's all muddled. This is the, um, this is the sugar syrup one. Okay. So this one looks a little bit different. So... The reason I think I would use white sugar, or simple, without brown, brown gives it the caramelization, but it makes it look a little bit brown. I don't think it looks bad though, Dina was no, right. No, it doesn't look bad. Mm. I think in a clear glass, it doesn't work. Yeah. So, poured it in, just like we did before, and I haven't sieved that. You could sieve it to no. get rid of it, but I quite like no, the bits. No, don't sieve it. But if you don't like bits, fine. Do you need me to do more crush? Cinnamon, yes, yes please. Let's have it properly crushed this Cinnamon. We're going to pour in another 60 mil, and like I said, Can you do 80? Uh, no, it won't be balanced. Cocktail <laughs> is all about balance. And we pour it into... And you also want to drink responsibly. This, okay? So never rinse your shaker with that, because you get all the kind of dregs of the... Um, Whoa. Of that, you know? Do that. Pour it. It's actually... right, yeah. <laughs> Just to be nice. I realise we've made this way more complicated than it. It's actually a really simple drink to it make. It is. You could literally make it in the glass, couldn't you? Pour it in like that. Can you write the recipe and put it on your Instagram? Of course I can. And then it's really clear for everybody. It's at it's Lee Peart. P e a r t. Yeah, people say pert. It's you never Peart. Say you say Peart. No, people say pert. People say pert. It's Peart as in Fiat. <laughs> pert on weekends. Fiat Uno. Okay, ice, ice baby, ice, ice baby. And you garnish it with like a little wooden spoon, apparently, a little wooden spoon or a bit, that's why I've used that. Are you garnished with a spoon? Yeah, because it kind of just gives that yeah. Brazilian feel. Yeah. You're, on, you're on a beach. Yeah. Yeah, you know, no, I had, I had you're a at Brazilian hot, you're just drinking caipirinha. I had yeah. a lot of these in Lisbon. You're eating some salty nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sucking on your salty nuts. And actually you can add, so you could add pineapple juice if you want, you could add fruit. So you know instead of using um, water, um, you can use a, less water and add a bit of fruit. So you could okay. add strawberry or pineapple, in... which that water will then help um, dilute, if you know what I mean, but use less water for that. Now that's looking that's like it. Good. See, Some I don't like, like it like that because it, it, it goes to... It's like a no, no. Well, look how pretty it is in the green. Trust we got, me. We got those glasses. I love those glasses. We got them from um, TK. TK Maxx. And then what I usually do is I like to just do that like that and just... Oh. So you've got that yeah. nicely that's done. That's beautiful. Now... Yeah. Mom. Mom, that's got your name on it. Now you're talking. If Hold them both up. Why do we keep saying to mum? If you're new to this channel, my mum and dad, so our mum and dad. Would yes. Be sure. So look at this is the winner. And let's well, it depends. I don't know because I think in the red, in the pink glass, yeah, like it's fabulous. Oh, she's going in. 
What do you like the look of most, guys? The red glass or the what green? What are you thinking? The well, dark. red or green, say, red or green. You definitely taste the alcohol more than that one. Is that <laughs> you? <laughs> well, I think that's... See, this is... I like them both. Yeah. But that, to me, gives it more of taste, a... Um... You can actually taste the cassaccia really clearly. I think that's sweet, sweeter as well. I love the sweet one. But that's going to give you more of a headache. It depends what you prefer. If you want it a little bit more sweeter, if you want it's that half kind of... It's half and half people saying red and green. Wow, there you go. So it's sweet one. Oh my God, it's like ready, steady, cook. Yeah! Lean ready, steady, on... cock. <laughs> well, hold that up and get photos and you put it on your gram. And he'll put the recipe on the gram. Put oh, we need ground. to fill that up. I think Betty and Teddy might be on their way. Okay, Betty's coming to oh, drink. Oh, uh, she's coming. I noticed the drink's poured. Betty's on her way. Well, Betty and I were on the on rosé last night, so oh, she might turn around to the, the light. Turn around right. to the yeah, light. Yeah, Nadia's going to... To the light. Don't you want light through it? To the light, it? baby. Yeah, hold it up into the light. No, the light is the other side behind you, Nas. No, it wasn't. You want it, it through the light. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nas. <laughs> it's not worked. Yeah, you had it there. you got the sun coming through it. I want to know who here has previously tried a caipirinha and if they haven't who would like to try one yeah do you Easy think to make cheap to, inexpensive to buy i think kakasha kakasha is quite cheap because it's um it's quite a poor poor it was poor I, it's population. very it's very cheap in portugal never, and ever heard brazil of it. i'm never so heard of it never, never heard of it. it yeah okay so while we clear up a bit here for the next cocktail Dina, start building your board. I'm going to start <gasps> Build your board. Well, to me, on my board you is going to go a tomato chutney recipe, which I made up. Um, and Mads, then. Could you grab my and bring it over, please? Yes, Mum yeah. has been making this for Dad non stop while they've been away. I think they eat it every day. Um, so, into well, some. A tablespoon of coconut oil. I have got. Let's have a look at these little seeds. Oh, pretty. Quarter of a, a half a teaspoon of mustard. Half a teaspoon of black sesame, half a teaspoon of nigella, half a teaspoon of cumin, and a pinch of turmeric. Nigella? So gonna... Nigella, she's with us. Oh. As if she hasn't got enough, she's got her own seed as well. Has <laughs> she made her own seed? Yeah. <laughs> and so you want to fry those until they stop popping. Now, teach is in the house, so be quiet. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can't talk during her segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, I think you should come and irritate and agitate her segment. Anyway, you want all of those to pop. They're not come popping on, Lee, yet. Come and learn how to make this. Yeah, I'll do the washing up. And then you're going to add a small chopped onion and two cloves of garlic. I think I always burn garlic. Yeah. Oh, and how do you know when it is burned? Because it smells horrible. Yeah, be really, because once you've burnt garlic, there's nothing you can do. You can't go back, disgusting. you just have to start all over it's again. All over. Mm -hmm. all right, so we want that to soften down. Um, oh! You're looking, right. you're looking for it to be oh, classy. Oh, it's driving me to drink. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Responsibly. <laughs> Pardon me, mine, please. Oh. Um, Which one do you want, the brown one or? You want oh, that one? Yeah, you want that one? Uh, so it was interesting, Lee said earlier that the, your friend with this smorgasbord, you get a plan. Now, I did, I did do a grazing board before without a plan. Yeah, it get all went smorgasbord up. out. <laughs> so here's my plan. Oh, oh you've done a plan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have done a plan. So you would say what things you like and then they would plan it for you. I love that. Yeah. Mm. But remember when you're planning these boards, so for artistically, you want to think in odd numbers. Right. Okay. Sorry, I feel like so, I'm an out of body experience. This isn't right. going to work on here. So, a smorgasbord, you know, when you go like, you, you know, like a cheese board biscuit and you put it all. Yes. And, and there are people that plan though. Yeah, because, yeah, because it, it looks all arty oh, and you wow. have like. And so, what Dina's done there is she's done a diagram of ah. where she's going to put each on the board. Gotcha. Because I did one at Christmas a couple of years ago. We did the whole table. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. I hate it. And yeah. it was no planning and it was. Dreadful. I didn't like it. I just wanted a meal. I wanted right. a proper meal on a proper plate. No, but when you go to nice sort of parties where they've got a grazing table, it's fabulous. Yeah. You, you see them on Instagram, don't you? Massive. Yeah. Like. So when you're thinking artistically, you always have to think in odd numbers: threes, five, sevens. When you're creating. Why is that? So just you know that for cocktails later. Um, because if you put two things, where does your eye go? Oh, it, it goes splits. Yeah. So you need to you need that to go like that. I get a headache. All right. 
So I'm going to have on my one a macadamia cheese, a tomato chutney, macadamia cheese, and yeah. an aubergine puree. Um, and surrounded by the grapes and the olives, but they've all got to be strategically placed. Um, <laughs> right, is that cooking? Is that on? Yeah, it's on. It's on. Kaz Rowley what had a, a caipirinha in Las Iguanas. Oh, Ooh. Kaz, did you? Oh, it eat a Las Iguanas. What oh, John like? Hardner is making one now. I did a mixology class in lockdown. Oh. And then when I was on a, a cruise. Ooh. Oh, and do you, uh, yeah, well this, it, uh, I honestly, honestly, I wasn't expecting it to taste that. So, I know, flavors. well, when you see it poured into the glass, like, oh, yeah, no, I was a bit worried, but so it's very simple. Is, and the thing is sorry, with the cocktails, it's... Though, you are sorry, darling. Sorry, go on, darling. Sure, right, carry on. So, and right. the thing is about cocktails is, if you really get into the different tastes and everything, you're then not just knocking back loads of booze. You're just, like, really tasting and nibbling mm. and... Or, well. <laughs> if you don't want to worry about it, and you want quick and easy, must. Yeah. Someone's going to win this. Yeah. Someone's got to win it. Hashtag this is not an ad. We are just, we just love these and we're going to give away the whole box. So, they're uh, for a picnic as well. Mm. So my friend and I went and to Lisbon changes. for her 60th and we were, we'd had a long day walking but we decided yeah. we are going to do another hour's walk. Yeah. So we're walking along the seafront, you know, there yeah, to yeah. Bellum. Do you remember yeah. Bellum at the yeah. end? And then we came across these rather lovely looking seats on the beach. So we plonked our butts on these, took on a bit of sun. I said, right, time to go. I said, before we go, we need to have a caipirinha. She went, what's that? I went, you've never heard of caipirinha. She'd never, never had heard a, of it. 60, never had a caipirinha. Well, so, oh, neither so I went to the bar. What's the bar coming to? Where was this? Lisbon, last week, darling. Yes. Oh, last week? Yeah. Anyway, I got her this caipirinha. Oh. We never got off those benches for four hours. We just stayed there, taking in the sunset. What were you drunk? No, no, the caipirinhas. It just, they just, it was just a Do lovely you have loads? I just you know had what? one with nibbles yeah, and it's, it's really just nice. lovely. The thing is as well, like this is, these are delicious, but when you're in, I mean, if you're in Brazil, yeah. you get the <laughs> nicest tasting, the yeah. limes are going to be amazing. Yeah. But even when you're in Lisbon, you're in a new place, it's the, oh it's the God. feeling it gives you, yeah. which you can't always see. But if you're just, you know, if you're like me and you're at home in Grimsby, <laughs> it's still just as tasty. <laughs> But just have one or one amazing. or two, you don't have to get No, that. you only need one because they're so, yeah. they're, you know, they're pretty they're high really, alcohol yeah. and they're tasty. Just one is enough. So I've put into there some really very insipid looking cherry tomatoes. I'm sorry, I don't like those. Whose fault was that? My shopper. Jesus, Matt. My shopper. Dino, was there any holiday romance in Lisbon? Ooh. With a caipirinha. Oh. <laughs> With nice. a caipirinha. No! Anyway. Is it so, just a guy called Kai oh, and his surname's Perinia? <laughs> Listen mm. to my funny story though. I'd had a really horrific journey to the airport. Long story, oh. long story. Then I sat on the plane, I'm like, I'm finally, we're gonna go. And they were like, is there a Dina on board, please? Oh God. And I went, well, there Interpol. can only be. <laughs> <laughs> Interpol. Yeah. It can only be me. So I kind of raised my hand like I was at school. Can you come to the front of the plane, please? Stand by to. So off I go. And this guy goes, I need to escort you off the plane. I was like, he goes, it's nothing serious. Takes me down the stairs. He went, is that your bag? I said, yes. And then these two young guys looked at each other and went, it's vibrating. What was that? Please tell me it was an electric toothbrush. Good boy! <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> but but they, imagine. I said to them, you dirty bastards, you thought it was something else. <laughs> Did you? Did you? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. There were two boys his age, you know, and I knew what they were thinking. Oh, they thought, boy, poor old six-year-old <laughs> Biddy's on her way to Lisbon with her little... You've got a bit of tomato pip down there. I love this. <laughs> this is a lovely colour. Very well, ask me where it's from. Where Where's it's from? It from? <laughs> Lidl. Poundland. Was it pound? Of course it wasn't. Oh. Have you oh, seen that guy? Yeah. Have you seen that guy on Instagram? Is anything a pound in pound? Really Poundland sells clothing. Yeah, seven pounds. Oh. And that's, that'll go bobbly quick. <laughs> no, it won't. Bobbly quick. <laughs> right, so what next? How are we doing? In, into that, we want a bit of salt. Salt, please. Salt. Because it's your back bar. Oh, 45 minutes has flown I by. know. Sorry. Um, do hang around, guys, for the announcement that Mark and Lee are going to make and also to get the question on how to win the moth cocktails. So right. into that, I'm going to put a teaspoon of Patax paste. Patax 
is one of my favourites. So good. Pate. If you haven't got it, put some curry powder. Not the sauce, pate paste. Just keep it in the paste. Fridge. And, and what, little... what kind of, is that like a spice? Is it? Yeah, that one is just a blend of really good spices. So you can add it to vegetables, chicken, blah, blah, blah. And, and some coconut. Glass, but it, it just it gives it that real authentic taste. You could make a chicken curry in about 10 minutes. Just cut up chicken, fry some onion, that paste, some cream or coconut cream done. Do you cook for yourself a lot, Lee? No. <laughs> <laughs> do you get those? Do you get the those? Um, over. Do you get those companies that deliver you? Oh yeah, meals? I used to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But I've not done that for a while. Fresh. It's very. It's because I'm. Up, the thing is, I'm out and about. I'm up yeah. and down. So it's. Oh, you're it's always just, eating on the hoof. Yeah. Oh yeah, on trains. Oh, that's Lee's, horrible. Lee's a stand-up comedian, so he's all over the place, standing up and comedian, comedian. -y. Someone's when are you in Brighton next? The I've got to, we've got to go to Brighton when you're in Brighton next. Yes, I'm doing the weekend soon. So Lee, watch out for Lee on the Comedia Club in Brighton. He does it regularly at the weekend. So shall he make a cocktail? Yes, this? that's just cooking down And now. then why don't you start building your board? Okay, I'll start building my board. What, so I'm are we going to start prepping the mojito? Oh. Yes. We I'll can do the mojito in this, I reckon. Do it after then, Dean. That's all right. Can I just clarify to people what's coming up? Can I just do a little... Yeah. yeah. So guys, hello, just to say we are going to be, you're going to have two opportunities coming up to win, so two different people are going to win one of these boxes, okay? There's going to be two questions asked in this show. One question, you're going to need to put the answer beneath this live when this is uploaded. And the next question, you're going to need to put somewhere else, which we'll be explaining later. So there are going to be two different opportunities to win one of these, and Moth, We'll be sending them directly to you once you've been, once you've won, Woo! and once we've got your address. So it won't be coming from us, it'll be coming from them. Just want to clarify. The mojito. I think everyone must know what a mojito is, have seen it. It's, it's one of the most classic cocktails And I've out never, there. ever had a good one in this country because it never, ever tastes of mint. They put like a couple of, because when I was in Cuba, they mash so much mint, really, really minty. It's yeah, delicious. well, we're, we're going to use 14 sprigs of mint for one. Wow. 14? We know no better. Now, this is what I want to make Mark one at the same time with cucumber slices added to it with, without the alcohol. Okay. Can they, sorry, just quickly, people are asking me a lot of Irish followers. We can send to Ireland, can't we? I don't see Mark, why not. Yeah, Ireland, yeah. you're, you can, yeah, we can get Yeah, we one. love our Irish yeah. followers. We love so Ireland for standing open, up. Open to international subs, I presume so, yes. Yeah. International? Stuff. What, abroad? Well, Ireland is international. No, no, but you don't, I don't, I don't think, like, in America and everywhere. No, probably Europe. Yes. Europe. Ireland comes under Europe. Europe. EU. Yeah. yeah. So, the mojito apparently dates back to the 1500s, apparently, where it first... Sir Francis Drake, you might oh. remember him from history. I do. We do. And um, okay. he would he was sent on expeditions to go and plunder a load of Spanish cities in the New World. And apparently, um, King the King of Spain at the time warned the governor of Cuba um, of his approach. Oh. And uh, Sir Francis Drake essentially left with with nothing. He used to. He used to leave these cities with more than even the, the Queen Elizabeth I, who I dressed as once. Um, had. <laughs> Check it out on his Instagram, yes. it's very funny. So they made this. Uh, so hang on, they has made he, this has drink. he taken everything or he's left No, he, did, he, 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 was, he was thwarted. Right. Um, so the Cubans celebrated. They said, this oh. is amazing, let's make a drink. <laughs> so um, they made a drink called the Drake. The Drake, oh. okay, and uh, cool. this was a popular drink, and it was never really kind of given with um, it, this. Actually, the mojito came about because this was a medici uh, medicinal drink mm. because it's basically the mint and the water and blah 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 blah. blah. There is nothing quite as fantastic as fresh it mint tea. It smells amazing if you have nausea. So, a friend of mine at the moment is having treatment, cancer treatment. I said, I've got to get you tons of mint because also pregnancy. If you nausea, boiling water onto uh, mint leaves. Don't leave it too long. And then some sweetener with it as well. It's delicious. Yeah. So soothing. And that's what they did. They did lime, sugar and mint and the water. And they made this into what they discovered was this medicinal drink. And then eventually, 
like all things, they added spirit into it. And um, it, it, th th there's arguments that it comes from um, the word mojo or something I read earlier. Mojo. Mojo, like... like it's a Spanish mentioned... verb suggesting wetness. <laughs> oh, like moist. Oh, my. So mojo, it's wet, it's nice. But others claim, actually, it was created by the slaves um, brought to Cuba and in the sugarcane fields. I love the way that there's never actually a right story to any of these But know. I love all the stories. I know, I do. I think it's good, good to learn a little bit, even though we've not actually confirmed anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many is that? Well, this is loads. Yes, but... but we you want, want 14. 14. Yes, yeah, so I want 14 mint leaves, all right? Then uh, we're using rum, so uh, we use a, a white rum over here. Thank you for getting that, Nadia. And um, again, you can use sugar. Now, I've had it in bars before where they, do, they have the granulated sugar and it never dissolves. And I do quite like the crunch of it, but you, you don't get the sweetness. Oh. So we're just gonna Better use, to use sugar, sugar syrup. Well, I'm oh, just gonna oh. use sugar syrup, which is just so easy. And you can then get the measures right because sometimes with sugar, you don't get it as as. And correct. if you want to make your own syrup, you can. Uh, if you put 350 grams of caster sugar with 150 mils of water, bring it up to the bubble, lower it, and simmer it. Don't stir it; just sort of. Because if you stir it, can it can end up crystallised. We're going to squeeze some lime juice Let's now. Do it. I'm going to. Do you want to cut a couple of limes just in half? Dina, could you let Chi Chi in for me? Are we, are we going to use this for mojito? Perfect. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, turn it the wrong way around, idiot. What's that? Well, it doesn't matter, that's fine. Not to squeeze. Through. Here it is. What's that? I'm going to use this. Yeah, but you have to squeeze it that way. No, I don't. This is... What it, is that? What's that? This is my new gadget, which I love. So it's uh, Joseph Joseph, oh. and it's so good. You get so much juice out of it, and I don't think it's that expensive. Oh, you put it the other... Oh, look, look. I so put look. That way Put around. That, and you've right. got holes in the bottom there. Okay. You basically, this is really good as if well. This if works you've got... for a lime, because limes are very. Well, let me show you. Let's use this. <laughs> Get this. Put that there. <gasps> oh. That is brilliant. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Just discard like that. Pop it in. Do you want to try? Okay. As I'm the bar back. Not the bear back. The bar back. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. That is brilliant. So I just do that. Basically, you don't have to use as much um, force. You know what wow, I mean? look at that. Totally wow. flattened and all the juice. Dean, it's brilliant. Yeah, that's Joseph Joseph. Because you usually you have Beautiful to design, do a lot to get out of there. Aaron Edwards from Swansea. I want one! Yeah, it's really good. I, th I, think, I think it's, I, I don't know how much it is. I think it's about 15 pounds. Really? But if you're using them a lot, I mean, I could be wrong, I'll, I'll double check, but yeah, they're amazing. What's the company called? Joseph Joseph. Joseph Joseph. Oh, they're very posh, yeah, aren't they're, they? Yeah, they're in, they're all over John Lewis. I always yeah. see them in John Lewis. But they are good and they're basically design, they're two That's brothers, really apparently. No. Joseph and Joseph. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, we only need about 15 mil, but that's we've got enough there. But you can keep keep squeezing. For the soaker one. Again, this is really easy. The mojito, actually, because you don't have to shake, you don't have to do all Why that. Why is it always so horrible then when you have it? Well, it's because people just don't have the recipe yeah. right they have nice or whatever. Ingredients. Um, so I am gonna only slightly, only slightly. Actually, you don't... saying they need to do a lily. They do. Oh my they God, do. imagine Lily. what would that be? Lily. So I'm, I'm tempted to just slightly muddle these mint no, leaves. No, muddle them in the glass. No. Why don't you want to muddle them? Sprayed lime juice all over them. I think they definitely muddle, because in, in, um, you don't muddle them in, in the glass. Cuba, you get a long thing that you bash yourself. You don't, you know, no, we're, really we're going to churn, we just stir. <laughs> anyway. 14 I would here. bruise them, because how are you going to get the flavour? Listen, I know cooking. I'm going to put those mint leaves in there. Okay, I'm going to very slightly, you don't want to do it too much, because it does bruise them and it's not. Okay. So, mint leaves in. You then pour in um, your lime juice. So you're going to measure that? Plenty of lime, yeah. Because I think it's very strong. Do you have a really sieve? They're really good limes. There's no, there's no, um, 
There will be a little bit. There's no pips. There will be a little bit. And there are, I can see them with oh, my naked eyes. Oh, you don't eyes. want any threads? No, I've decided uh, with the, the with the caipirinha, I had it, but I want with this. <laughs> my God, that's massive. <laughs> <laughs> that's the big... I haven't got a I hope this will be big enough. <laughs> <laughs> shows you how much pips there are. <laughs> Doesn't it? See how many there are? Oh, yeah. oh look, Alan Carr's ringing you. I'm not even joking. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alan sorry Carr. guys, my <laughs> showbiz friend's ringing me. <laughs> 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 I'll have so to answer funny. it later. <laughs> right, so, it's probably, he, he likes a caipirinha. I bet oh, Alan he, likes I a caipirinha. Way. He can come oh, round and hang out on Curly Cooks and yeah, you yeah. can make him cocktails. I love that. Oh, he's so bloody funny, isn't he? So, lime juice is there. We only need for each one 15 ml of lime juice. Okay, so pop the mint in. Where's my juice? There we go. Got Betty that. and Teddy! Oh, she's not got her teeth in, but she's got a lovely to see her. Hello, long time I've seen. I love this guy, this is so funny. Because our mum and dad have been watching this from next door and they've obviously thought, right, we've got to get over there starting. now and have one of these pots. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I so, love um, what you're wearing. I'm just hey. going to say, so, so we've put the 14 sprigs of mint in. If you want it a bit minty, do more. If you want it less, 15 mm. milli millilitres of uh, lime juice. Pour that in. And then we want 60 mil of... Rum. Have you been watching, Mum and Dad? Yeah. Yes, what, what drink do you want? 60 mil. Caipirinha. Caipirinha. The brown sugar or the white sugar? Everyone's saying hello, Betty and Teddy. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty. And then we're going to, so that's 60 mil of rum. Yep. And then we're going to use, um, and it's uh, sugar syrup. We're going to use um, 10 mil of sugar syrup. Again, you can dissolve the sugar or whatever, but it just, when you're dissolving stuff, the sugar syrup just makes it a lot simpler to, um... That's nice, she likes it. To do. do you like it, Betty? So. Betty approval. The only final ingredient ingredient is a bit of a, oh, do you like it? I love it. Oh, love. I'm it. not a rum lover, but that's better. No, I'm not a rum lover. Try it. Um, I, do, I like a dark spiced rum, actually, with Coke. That's quite nice. Um, so, uh, the, the final one is soda water, but we're going to put that in the, in the last. So you put all the ingredients in there, right? Then we want crushed ice again. It's time for crushed oh, yeah. ice. Come on, Dad. Get to it. Betty! Betty's mm. got bags of crushed ice. Oh, I knew you would. You look lovely, Teddy. I like your coloured shirt. Cheers. Matches your drink. Chin chin. Hey. Hey, buddy, this, is, this is our dad, Teddy. He's 90. 90! 91 this year. Good food. Yeah, good good food, food and good thoughts. What That's what's got him. And his wife, and his wife is wife. 142. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a good wife, exactly. If you want to be happy for the rest of your life, make sure you have a very, very good wife. Lovely. Lovely dude. You like that? It's oh a caipirinha, the drink of Brazil. Where's the bag gone? What bag? What bag? To bash the bash the, the bash the ice. Okay. That drink, caipirinha. Beautiful, my favourite. The ice is Caparina. a bit wet, if you ask. Salute to the uninitiated. You would look like an expert here, but you are, as you say, an enthusiast. An enthusiast. I'm certainly not an expert, and I do use references online. Like I don't do that off the top of my head. I can't remember them all. I can do the ones that I do a lot, but. It's really simple, just follow a recipe. The, the whole thing with uh, cocktails is um, balance and the numbers, just getting the measurements right. And yes, you, you get, get very that. strict, don't you? Whenever I say, oh, can I have a bit more of that? He goes, no, the balance won't be Yeah, right. yeah, it won't be. And, th and that's why, if you've ever had a cocktail, if it's too diluted, the balance is wrong because there's too much water, or if it's too strong and you like, it's not, it's all about balance. But it also strikes me it's about fresh ingredients. Yes, well, fresh ingredients always do help as well. Yeah. But you can cheat. There's, um, I think Funkin uh, do a 
a pouch of lime juice, which is really nice. And so if you're having a party or whatever, you don't want to be squeezing limes all day. Um, you can buy that, which I sometimes do to cheat. Nice. It's what you prefer. I mean, nothing's going to be fresh. What's going on with this eyes? I can't I'm believe that it. Come on, All next. he's ever wanted from me when he's coming is big ice cubes. I bought two different big ice cubes. <laughs> and I spent the entire morning beating up ice cubes to make them into crushed ice. Well, you know what's terrible? That's been out so long now, we can't use that ice because it's going to be wet. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, no. Oh my also, God. I need more crushed ice than that. Oh, Sorry, I really yeah. do because you need loads. So we're going to pour this ice in because you have to pour two thirds in there. I'm just going to use my hands. It's... Pour all that in there. We need way more crushed ice because the trouble is here. That's going to die loose. <laughs> that's going to melt. Off that's going to melt. Hurry up! God this is a sake. disaster. Where's that bag? Where's oh, that clear bag? Oh God. Do you like that? Do you like this? Have you seen this, Betty? Maybe go to Dina's. Go to me. It's a lime squeezer. Oh, well, I've got an electric one. Oh, okay. I've got to make my, I've got to make my nut cheese, so oh, get over, over here. Over. Okay. So, in here, we have got um, a cup and a quarter of macadamia nuts <laughs> that have been soaked in boiling water. I love macadamia. With two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm going to put half a cup of water in there. Two tablespoons of my fave that every vegan needs to have in their cupboards. Bouillon. No, it's not bouillon. Oh. Um... Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Dina, he was trying to show you he's learned things. Nutrition, yeah, right, nutrition, nutrition, yeah, nutritional yeast, least. Two tablespoons of that. Nutritional yeast. Yep, so you've got lemon juice, water, nuts, oh, yeast, and let's have some garlic powder. Uh... <laughs> Watch out for the uh, nettles, Lee. Watch out for the nettles. <laughs> Garlic powder, salt. I will be putting this on my Instagram for anybody who wants to make this cheese. Not cheese, nut paste, whatever you call it. And a bit of parsley. Dawny Harvey says, good to see it's going well, guys. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying. Right, I'm going to... It always ends in chaos. I'm going to go over to the processor so you can go Brilliant. back to them. Just hit the hour mark. Right, just see. while you do that... Sorry, I'm just going to show you. I put the ice in there. It should be a little bit more crushed than that, but we can't. And then you get a, sp you churn it. So you can use a bar spoon, and you basically stir it. You should. I'll use a bigger spoon, but usually if you have one of those bar spoons, I forgot mine. I'm annoying. sensing that the crushed ice could be why these are never good when you're out. Yeah, maybe they don't have enough crushed ice and it gets too watery. Lee, is that the problem? Honestly, I think this is going to be watery, oh which will annoy me. Get worse we've now got the mixer on. So if you see this, you can just stir Ooh. and you churn as well. So like you basically bring it up like that. Where's the soda water gone? It's in the freezer, I think. It's not. Oh. <laughs> This is a nightmare. It's untenable. <laughs> it's untenable and unworkable. So, <laughs> fill the glass then with more crushed ice. Don't forget, guys, half the people watching this might be stained out of their heads. It's 4.20. Oh, it? yeah. More this crushed ice sober. like this. Oh. Oh, that's now, the sober one. Good. Which and is the then, sober. please get it right now. Which is the sober one? Yeah, this is the sober 15 one. 15 millilitres top. With a splash of soda, 15 mil. I'm going to use, which gives it a slight fizziness. Oh, that's so Top nice. with that, it's quite so a large fresh. glass there. You briefly stir, and then got a straw. Right, this is the sober one. So I've done. I put the lime, lots of soda, lots of. Mint, cucumber. Oh, Tori's just said one of the jar looks nice. That looks oh. nice too. That's the sober one, it's delicious. Mark, try yes. it. 20 years this year sober. Why haven't you got as many bits of lime? It's quite, quite strong. Do you want a bit more sugar? Yes, please. <laughs> Okay, well, so. that's quite Nadia, sharp. Would you like to try the mojito? I will, yes, please. Nice, it's fresh. How is it? Some... It's, there's so, not enough mint. 
There's not enough mint. Well, you've you got it all. More. I can't taste the mint. Well, that, and that's, the, the, prop, that's yeah. the difference between Cuba and here. Yeah, it's because... You have loads of mint. The glass is totally green and everyone in Cuba sits bashing it like that. Because I think you need to bruise it. For my it, taste... Bruise it, smash it. But everybody's taste is different. Yeah. Sarah Fox, I dare you to say it's a bit watery, Nadia. No, it's not watery, it's lovely. <laughs> no, it isn't, actually. Do you want to get much sugar? Oh, no. Mark yeah. does. Ooh. That's, yeah, no, it's very minty. No, but try that. Nice. Seriously, it's, de it's delicious. Well, let's get it right for Mark. Hang on, let's take that. Give it a stir. Yeah, that's better. Is that nice? Oh, yeah, it's really fresh, isn't it? It's so Really fresh. refreshing. Right yeah. The thing with the mojito as well, it just looks refreshing, it does. doesn't oh, it? Oh, it does, not it? And I, I actually think, I know it's not right, I think cucumber is really nice. Like the Eastern Standard has cucumber in, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I like that in there. Mmm. That's delicious. So I started with 14 uh, mint sprigs. So if you like it more minty, try it more. I guess as, as well, it depends on the freshness of your mint. Exactly. In, you know, in um, Cuba, you're going to get the most amazing... What is Fragrant. That Fragrant. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's yummy. Yummy. Oh. Yeah, no, no. And that is good. And not too sugary as well. No, it's fresh and summery. And but as well, story, easy to make. So you should put the mint in, you put the lime juice in, you put the rum in, and you put the sugar syrup in. You fill two thirds of crushed ice and you churn it around, stirring it till it's all kind of mixed in together. You fill a little bit more to the top with crushed ice, briefly if pop in about, any. <laughs> yes. I know. Briefly pop in about 15 ml of soda water, give it another stir, and there you have a real fresh mojito. Um, Would you like this one, Dad? I can top it with more soda. Someone's asking, what could you use yeah. instead of cucumber? You don't have to have cucumber. I, no wouldn't, cucumber use, in I it. wouldn't use cucumber, okay. but I'm a little bit of a um, purist. purist, yes. Um, where I'm I... adding more soda for my dad because he doesn't drink. No, cool. So I'm a bit more of a purist in terms of I just want to stick to the recipe. Yeah. But actually, you get like strawberry mojitos, oh, you can get raspberry mojitos. What so do you, you think can... of a person that orders a strawberry mojito? Be honest. Bit basic. <laughs> <laughs> Common as well. But sometimes I do that because sometimes you want something a little bit um, like a daiquiri. I love a strawberry daiquiri on a holiday. It's all right to be basic sometimes. A hundred percent. Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, I've got loads of basic friends. I'm <laughs> 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 not on the list. <laughs> Tina, do you remember? No. I hope I'm not on the list. I think that's Kiki at the door. Okay. Oh, oh, shall okay, I answer her. it? Yeah, you answer it. Thanks, Luke. We will uh, stay off camera. So, there we go. Oh, that's, lovely. Well done. that's for my dad, because he loves... Dad, say cucumber. Cucumber. Oh, no, he says it right now. <laughs> cucumber. Cucumber. Oh, cucumber. Oh, cucumber. 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 <laughs> cucumber. cucumber. You bring it over? Yeah, bring it hey, over. Hey, you all right? Hiya. Oh, yeah. It's all right, you can go. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you can go around behind Daddy, Kiki. Oh, yeah. yeah. Try that. Dad's top almost matches it. Mm. Mm. Oh, Lee, you missed it. Oh. Teddy approval. So because I'm not to you, I'm thinking about it. I can see a cucumber in that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I've mm. put some cucumber for him. Mm. Is that nice? nice. Yeah, really refreshing. Mm. Hold it up in the air a bit so I can get it for the gram. <laughs> Oh, it's all kicking over, off over it. It's all social media heaven over there. So, listen, it doesn't take as long when you're just doing it on your own. <laughs> <laughs> so don't let any of this put you off. I was going to say. Are you saying don't let the curly curls Honestly, put you I off. thought the bar back, you know, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go over now to Dina's oh, um, look. thingy board, and then wow. at the end we're going to make they're going to make their announcement, and we're going to give you the question to win For the moth cocktail. Right, so there's the tomato chutney I was making. That is your macadamia nut cheese. Okay, so blend it up like that. Now, what you could do is put it in some muslin, squeeze it, and leave it in the fridge for 24 hours, so you get like a ball of cheese. 
like a proper cheese. So oh. this is just like a cream cheese this here. Looks sensational, dear. Beautiful, Dina. So you can see that I've, you can see that I've accessorised with the appropriate. So we've got matabal here, which is. Say again. Matabal. I love that word. Which is blackened, over, peeled aubergine with tahini, lemon, and garlic. All these recipes will be on my Insta. So I put the olives and the pomegranate seeds that go with that. Then these tortilla chips, blue tortilla chips that go really nicely with the chutney. Then you've got your figs and your grapes to go with your cheese. A smorgasbord. Well, a grazing board they're called now. A smorgasbord. I love orange peppers. <laughs> <laughs> they taste different. They mm. do. Do they? Totally. They're my favourite. <laughs> if I see a pack of three peppers really? and they've got orange in it, I'm buying it. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so Mark, why don't you go round there and they give Stay me... tuned for more anecdotes like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never knew an orange pepper could taste different. I hate that. So, guys, go around this way so I can see you. Get some light on your face. Where are you going, Ned? Oh, thank right. God, this is all a bit formal, isn't so, it, Lee? So, Mark, what's the question? Do you uh, do the, that's why I was over there. The question, well, I don't know. No, you need to ask the question for this. Yes, okay, so we are giving away this bundle of moth cocktails, okay? And it will have another one of the, um, the aperitivo, even though I've drank one of them. So we're going to give away this um, yeah, they're bundle. They're from Moth, so you can have the rest of it. Moth. Oh, can I? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'm a um, good cup for myself. <laughs> no, no, I think you've had enough. <laughs> uh, no. So, mix of total happiness. Moth. It's, they're amazing, gorgeous cocktails. If you want them on the go, picnics, whatever. I call it journey juice. Um, or, or, or if you just can't, if you've seen how... Difficult it can be to make a cocktail at home. But don't you can forget, just not pour everyone's over got the curly cooks with them at home and they're making a the cocktail. Exactly, true. Anyway. I want to know how it was going with the chap that was making the same one at home. Mm. Has it, was it delicious? He's probably on his fifth by now. <laughs> yes. So, um, the question The question is, <gasps> drum roll please. <laughs> and I don't want anyone to put this in the live chat, okay? So, Say if you know again. the answer, if you know this, the answer to this question, what you have to do is after this broadcast, it's and it's on, on there, so after it's broadcast, you put it in the comments, okay? If you put it now, you won't, be, you won't be in with the chance. Yeah, so don't put it on the live chat, all right? And um, we're gonna close the competition, what, is it midnight? Tuesday midnight. So you've got time if you're watching this on, you know, catch up or <laughs> plus one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can um, comment on the video below. <laughs> What? We made a caipirinha earlier on, but what is that the drink of? What country is that the drink of? Okay. Caipirinha. So we want the name of the country that that drink is drunk. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do that I slow down to make it clearer. And I that was the out. worst. Good luck! That was, that was <laughs> the Leave worst the giveaway the question. Just do it one more time. So, the Caipirinha is the national drink of what country? Yay! Leave your answers beneath this live when it's uploaded. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Best of luck <laughs> for the mix of total happiness. Are we doing the announcements? Yes. yes. Okay. Right, so the announcements. Meanwhile, at six o'clock tonight, that's the time we said, wasn't it? Yeah. I was S pretending I didn't know. Six o'clock tonight, this <laughs> wondrous individual... Well, as you just said, you're a, you're, you're a cocktail enthusiast, aren't you? Mm -hmm. We <laughs> are effectively throwing this chap in at the deep end as he goes on... Well, we want to call it a cocktail journey. I prefer Odyssey. Odyssey! So oh, cocktail a Odyssey. So it's a mini-series. It's starting tonight. It starts at 6pm on the channel. It's going to be premiered... So he'll be in the room chatting with you, we'll be in the room chatting with you, and this little mini-series, he's got to work in one of the top ten cocktail bars in London <laughs> and master some cocktails. So I'm, I'm slightly triggered hearing this because we filmed this last year <laughs> yeah. and it was harder than I thought. <laughs> it, in many different ways as well, wasn't in it? In many different ways. I mean, ways. A, you couldn't stop looking at yourself in the reflection because of well, your... Well, but then I couldn't stop looking at you know, oh the Valentino. Oh, God, Valentino. <laughs> in fact, so many things happen on this journey. Honestly. Romance, trauma, sadness, happiness, 
That's just my dating life. But we're going to also ask you a question. So when you watch <laughs> the episode tonight, you can also win one of these. We've got another to give away. Another to give away. <laughs> but I'm going to make sure. So in tonight's episode, something Lee asked for made Nadia almost spit out her drink. When you watch it, you'll know what it is. What did Lee ask for that nearly made Nadia spit out her drink? And... I don't know what that is. This mini-series <laughs> is so funny. It is so funny. And it's, it's all... It's made proper... Mark's program maker. It's made like a proper program. It's not this sort of chaos. It's a different kind of chaos. But it's really funny. So we love a, our, all our regulars here, the support at six o'clock tonight. Tell all your friends. Also be there for the premiere. We'll be answering and commenting through it. It's, they're all shorts. They're like 10 minutes, but they're really good fun. We're going to yeah. spread the word. This is the new way that television is made. The best TV shows not on TV. Yeah. And Lee's on a real journey. Uh, yeah, Odyssey. Odyssey and you'll see so, where it lives. You'll see Comment where it on lives. this video of the Curly Cooks with the question about the Kuiperinia. And for the question later, they need to comment under on, the show. On under the show, that show. Yeah. Which will be 6 pm tonight. Yes. Oh my God, I'm nervous. I'm so excited. It's for non members and members. It's open yeah. for everyone on the channel. So please tell all your friends, share any, any, um, any stories or trailers we put out because we really want this to be a huge yeah. success. What's because the name he of deserves it? it. Lee Pitt on the Peace. Peace. P I S T E. Oh, pissed. It's really good. Yeah. You so, tonight's episode, you get to find out quite a bit more about Lee. Yeah, you see yeah. where he lives. Yeah. That's oh, always there. And here's a final shot of what you can win. See you guys.